Making a good VR rhythm game is hard. When there's no physical feedback on what you do, it can be hard to tell the timing or do things quickly when you have nothing to bounce back on. Games like Osu or Guitar Hero have a physical controller to use in which VR most of the time don't. A VR drumming game, for example, have no actual drums for you to hit. You're only holding a VR controller simulating the drumstick, but all you do is swing in the air with nothing to bounce off of. It can feel quite awkward. But despite these issues, developers have still found a way to make great VR rhythm games. It can be hard to find these experiences, which is why this inspired me to make this video to help you discover some of the best VR rhythm games that are currently out there. So let's start with the elephant in the room the most popular one, and also the main force of my channel, Beat Saber. It's sort of like a drumming game, but solves the physical problem by making you slice through boxes, so there's no required feedback except for some rumble. You're not hitting anything that you would expect a bounce to happen. It flows quite elegantly, and it feels amazing and satisfying to play. It's why most maps in this game goes up and down, because it feels natural to move your arms up and down. Depending on the community maps, not all follow the standard flow and rather focuses on trickier angles. It might be a bit hard to understand what I'm talking about, but you'll understand way better once you get to play it. It's highly worth your time if you have a VR headset as the game is available on every major platform, Oculus, SteamVR, PSVR. But I suggest staying away from PSVR if you can't avoid it, as there's no possibility for mods or custom maps from the community that has kept the game alive and fresh so far. This honestly goes for most of the games on this list. Have you ever seen the TV show Hole in the Wall? Oship is exactly that and more. Just like the show, you have to do poses to fit inside the walls, but in time with the beat. You also have walls you need to punch and optional coins to collect that increase your score. It all works out almost like a dance choreography. It's not the most competitive game out of the bunch, but it's a lot of casual fun. There's still really good players in this game though. I enjoy playing it from time to time, but I'm early terrible at it. I'd say you need quite a bit of room to get proper good scores, but there is a small room option toggle if you need it like I do. It has custom maps, and it also recently released a DLC with songs from Caravan Palace. Not only do I love their music, but one of my very good friends worked on the official maps, making it extra special to me. Speaking of Caravan Palace, Synth Riders is another fantastic VR and rhythm game that also co-released with O-Shape, a Caravan Palace music DLC for their game. Synth Riders is a game perfect if you love synthwave music and electro swing. The game mechanics fits really well to those kind of genres, making you move and swing to the music. People like to compare Synth Riders to Beat Saber, but it's not that similar in my opinion. You have two orb controllers, one in each hand. Touch incoming colored orb with said colored controller. Follow the lines with your controller. Combine both controllers together when the incoming orbs are orange. Green orbs, you have to pick one of your controllers and keep following through until the green chain is done. A very solid rhythm game. It's got custom maps as well. Audica can be quite tricky at first to get the hang of. But once you do, it's super fun and satisfying to play. Made by Harmonix Games, the same studio that also made the Guitar Hero games. This game has you using guns, shooting at targets, sometimes making you hold the trigger for an extended period of time, depending on the note you're shooting. In the later difficulties, you also have to tilt your guns in a vertical or horizontal way or else your shots won't count. I'd say most of the maps require you to remember and practice it, as it can be hard to sight read your first try, but hey, that might also be because I'm not that good at the game. But the best thing out of it all, gun spinning and tricks. 
I might get a hor horrible score, but man, does it feel good to spin your guns around and make your own flares. I think more games should do more of this. It's not always about the score, but about having a great time and feel good doing it. It also has custom maps. This last game sticks out a bit compared to the rest. Pistol Whip is a rhythm game, but at the same time, it's not. You have a gun and shoot bad guys. John Wick, basically. You can shoot whenever you want, but if you time it with the beat and aim for headshots, you get a way better score. It's sort of like a musical journey and each song you play through tells a story. It also got a free campaign update based on a comic. The levels got unique modifiers to your guns and it even has a badass boss fight. More rhythm games need boss fights, honestly. So if you need a break from rhythm games, I'd say Pistol Whip is a good alternative while still being in the genre. So that's my list of the best VR rhythm games. Hopefully you find something that might interest you, or maybe you have some recommendations of games I might have missed. I would love to know in the comments. If you watched this far, I highly appreciate you and I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been struggling on figuring out on what to make videos of lately, so any critique or suggestions is always welcome. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!